Hello and welcome to Lesson Scylla. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Revo Uninstaller to get rid of stubborn programs that you cannot uninstall from your Windows computer. First of all, let's go ahead and download Revo Uninstaller. I'm going to open up Google Chrome, go to revouninstaller.com. I'll put the link in the description box below. Scroll down and you can read about the features. Now, bear in mind that there's a paid version for Revo Uninstaller as well. We don't need that for day-to-day -day use. The free version is more than enough. So go to products and then you can click on Revo Uninstaller free. This will give you a bit of information about what this software is capable of doing. Um, we're just going to go ahead and hit download button. And this will download Revo setup file to our machine. Click on the executable file to install Revo in uninstaller. Click yes to the prompt. Click OK, accept the license agreement, hit next, 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 install. All right, so as you can see, Revo Uninstaller has been installed on my machine successfully. I'm going to launch Revo Uninstaller now. In this example, I'll show you how you can uninstall a software using Revo Uninstaller. Let's close those windows. Let me open up the program again. Now remember, you need to install Revel Uninstaller using a local administrator account on the machine. So it will show you a list of installed programs. Now, if you've got different kinds of programs and lots of programs installed on your machine, depending on the size of the application and how fast your computer is, it may take a couple of seconds for all the applications to populate here. This is a fairly small machine um, and I've only got a handful of softwares installed. So in this example, I will show you how to uh, uninstall a an application. I'm going to select Adobe Acrobat um, in this example. So make sure the uninstaller is selected. Click on the software that you would like to uninstall and click uninstall button here. So it will ask you whether you're sure that you want to uninstall this program. In this case, we're going to continue and we're going to say yes. If you like, you can make a system restore point. If something was to go wrong, you can restore back to an older uh, point of time. But in this example, I'm going to untick this option. I do not need that. Click continue. And it will um, get the uninstaller running for you. So during the prompts, please click next. Um, select remove if prompted and click remove. Now these steps might be slightly different depending on the application that you are uninstalling, but you will know what to do with the prompts as they're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Let's give it a couple of minutes. We're almost there. Okay, so the uninstallation process has been completed. Click Finish. Now, the next step is, let me get out of here. Now, the next step is to scan the system to look for any leftover files. Now, this is the speciality, or this is the benefit of using Revo Uninstaller as opposed to the standard um, 
Windows Add or Remove uh, Programs feature. Now, there are three scanning modes. Um, obviously, Moderate is the one that's default um, and um, takes a moderate amount of time to scan. But in this case, you can even select Advanced. It doesn't usually take a lot uh, longer compared to the Moderate option. Um, I'm just going to select Advanced because it does a comprehensive scan of the system and find out all the leftover files and registered keys and so forth. So I've selected advanced. I'm going to click scan. This process should hopefully finish fairly quickly. I'm going to pause the video. I don't want you guys to um, wait for too long for this process to finish. Once this is done, I'll um, resume the video. Okay, so the advanced scanning process took about 10-15 seconds. Um, now in here you will see a bunch of um, leftover registry items that's left by the um, Adobe Reader software web that we just uninstalled. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all um, by clicking this button. So it will select all of those files and I'm going to click delete to get rid of these files. It will ask if you're sure yet you want to delete. In this case, yes. We know what we're doing. And then in here also you've got some program files that are no longer needed that have been left over um, by the uninstaller. So I'm going to select all in here as well and click delete to get rid of those um, folders and files. Wonderful. That's all. The job has been completed. And as you can see, um, Adobe Reader has been uninstalled from uh, my system. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you've got any questions, uh, you can leave a comment uh, below and I will try my best to answer it. Um, if you're not a subscriber yet to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you and have a good day.